Hi, this is Leo from Honest View. Thanks so much for dropping by. And today, we're going to do something really fun. You and I are going to rank on page one in a competitive niche on Amazon. Just you and me ranking page one. And here's everything you need to know in about 10 seconds. Step one, look up the search term for the product you're selling on Amazon. So, scented candle, for example, if you're doing that. Calculate the average review count on page one for scented candles. And step three, give away enough scented candles for the reviews on your listing to overcome the average review count on page one. It's that simple. Scented candles, it could be anything. <laughs> the rest of this video goes into detail on these three steps. And of course, you know, at Honest View, we connect sellers with reviewers, so I want to partner up with you on this, but regardless of what strategy you use in the end, let's rank. To illustrate, let me tell you a story. It's the story of Andy. He's a client of ours who started selling on Amazon about three months ago. We worked with Andy on his product giveaways, and the product went from page 20 to page 1 in about three months in a competitive niche. That is a long time, but uh, it was a pretty competitive niche as well. Kind of think uh, supplements, phone cases, and selfie sticks type of competitive. This, this stuff can get pretty vicious. So um, anyways, in this particular niche, there are a handful of really strong guys. Two sellers with a thousand reviews and a handful of sellers with 500. So off the bat, a Andy knew this wasn't going to be easy. As a general rule, we'd actually recommend not picking markets where other sellers have over a thousand reviews because you inevitably need cash to catch up and the market may lack depth if one seller monopolizes like all the sales. But this market had some great volume, it had some good depth, so he persevered, sourced, and shipped to FBA. As soon as the product touched down, Andy got in touch with us at Honest Few about a product promotion. He wonders, as many do, you know, I need reviews, but how do I know how many units to give away? Well, the answer is enough units to be perceived as a viable option in the mind of the buyer. Bears repeating. The number of units you need to give away is enough to be perceived as a viable option in the mind of the buyer. Basically, reviews are social proof, and they're also a sales conversion tool. Uh, as a customer, and say you're in the market for a waffle iron, <laughs> I, we all are, I know, I know I am, uh, you see one waffle iron with 200 reviews, and you see another one with 15 reviews, and they're both similar. Uh, you know, which one are you likely to buy? Once competitive review counts are close, say 200 versus 175, it doesn't really matter as much. At that point, it's more about features and benefits. You just need enough reviews to be a viable option. So in the interest of protecting Andy's niche and product, I will not disclose them. Um, so we need an example here. We need an example. I'm, I'm thinking with Valentine's Day just six months away, <laughs> let's hop over to Amazon and look at some scented candles as a concrete example. It's, you know, it's never too early to start shopping for Valentine's Day. Am I right? So <laughs> here's the scented candles market. Let's look at the reviews. 200 ish, 450, 260, 200, 70, 12, 2200. That's impressive. And these guys have got the right idea by bundling candles together and charging more for the bundle, but we'll talk more about that some other time. And then uh, quite a few in the hundreds down the page. You can collect the review values from page one manually, of course, or uh, you can use a product research tool like Jungle Scout. This is one that I've found to be super useful uh, in recent days. It's a Google Chrome extension that does it all for you. And I will open it up here. Jungle Scout gives you a summary of every product in the scented candle search and their data all lined up for comparison. And we wanna know what the competition looks like on page one because this is where we want our product to appear. And full disclosure, I love this product so much that I did put an affiliate link to Jungle Scout in the description, so if you'd like to see more content like this, uh, you'd be supporting the channel by getting Jungle Scout through that link, so um, thank you very much. A anyways, it shows you individual and average review counts. Right now, it uh, seems a little high to me, um, so what you want to do is make sure the average isn't being raised by something that isn't a scented candle, i.e. it's not your direct competition. In this case, uh, we've got this here, and it seems to be bringing up the average review count. They're inflating our data, and we don't want anybody inflating our data. So let's nix it, and you see the average has dropped, which uh, is more accurate, just uh, from eyeballing it. 
Now we know we need, let's just call it 300 reviews to have the same amount of social proof and conversion power as the other page one listings. Uh, to get 300 reviews at a 75% success review rate is 400 products given away. So you can source the candles at $3 each. That's $1,200 in product. And I would say even add $800 uh, in air freight for this particular example because you know, candles are heavy and glass and everything. So let's say you need to spend uh, $2,000 plus Amazon fees, which is uh, either $2 or $3 per unit depending on your giveaway price. Uh, and that is the cost of getting 300 reviews and starting to sell on page one for scented candles. Uh, then Jungle Scout will also tell you estimated revenue and sales uh, on page one. So there you can see how long it would take to break even on this particular product. And when I average the revenue from the top 15 scented candle sellers on page one, the average monthly revenue is about $10,000. So these scented candles would be profitable upon the reorder. But what about Andy? Well, we worked the same plan with Andy, only it was to get 400 reviews over the course of three months instead of 300. So here's what we did in month one. We did 100 units, um, 100 unit promotion of the product at $1 each, plus one uh, honest few video review, which was given away at $0. And the sheer quantity of sales spiked BSR, uh, got the number one new release badge, which is pretty cool. Uh, got him on the map and resulted in his first 87 reviews within 14 days. That's our turnaround time. And the review count upped his conversions enough to turn on Amazon pay-per-click and the video review put a high converting product video on his listing which was then upvoted by buyers as most helpful. So it's what it's designed to do and most of the time it wor works out really well. So month two we did a 200 unit promotion at one dollar each. His rise became more meteoric as he went from page four to mid page two. And on mid page two, he was doing about three to four sales a day, uh, I seem to remember. And recognizing that um, his work wasn't quite done, uh, he ran another promotion. So in month three, we finished it off 200 unit promotion at $1 each. The combined sales spike and review count resulted in selling 10 units a day organically on the middle of page one. So with those sales, He's building his natural review count, he's building his business, and he's pretty much good to go now. And if you're wondering about Amazon's updated terms of service on product reviews, the verdict is in, and they're fine. We made a whole other post about the do's and don'ts, which you can check out in the description. Uh, so today we went through a timeless formula for page one ranking. Basically step one, look up the search term for the product you're going to sell on Amazon. Step two, calculate the average review count on page one. We did this with Jungle Scout. And step three, give away enough products for review to overcome the average review count. Again, Jungle Scout gives you your estimated break-even point, and Honest View gets your products in front of reviewers for honest evaluation. And sort of to wrap up, a final takeaway from Andy's story, aside from making deliberate page one calculations, is that the product selection is key. It's the 20% of the work that accounts for 80% of the results. Pick a product with low or unoptimized competition, but high demand. If you do this with surgical precision, you can make sales without having to brute force your review count. But more on this some other time. And on that note, get out there and build the business of your dreams. If you're looking to put what you learned here into action, we run promotions every day for sellers looking to fast track their review counts in a fair way in accordance with Amazon's TOS. So drop me a line at honestview.com slash amazon sellers and stay honest.